Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Behind me is my grand entrance into my shipping container uh, behind the cargo door. So the cargo doors I can close, right, for security purposes. And these will be trimmed out in cedar and, oh, I'm going to give them a castle door vibe. So anyway, it does close. Um, everything is roughed hung, but I need to talk about the transom because there's some odd things about it. Rotate. So last night in the dark, <laughs> which means I couldn't video, I went ahead and started working on a transom. And I'm really, really happy. Now it is rough install, so it'll need some, some work on it. But um, I like the cedar pot panels on the bottom. I love, love the transom, the fact you could push it open and uh, open it up for air. That seems super cool. I will get a, uh, you know, a screen in there eventually. So... The French doors are working well. They'll, they'll need to be final fit. They're a little tight. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really liking that. So I need to pop that out uh, up here as well. So the same uh, bit of a carving. Now, that was flat, but this will have to chase a log. So I haven't decided if I'm going to cut out the log and recess the panel into it. That kind of makes the most sense, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of chiseling. And then this is what I'm, I'm looking at, this gap and how I'm going to manage it. And I'm uncertain. Um, of course, there'll be, you know, there'll be uh, the back uh, trim here for the weather seal, you know, a weather seal all the way around, a latch so that I can latch it. It won't be high, uh, you know, real fancy. Now, I'm not sure how, what I'll do once I get a screen in, how I'll push it open and close, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. So, super excited. Super excited. Again, all salvage pieces uh, that would have gone to waste. The doors included there are $35. This transom I paid 100 bucks for. It is double pane, and let me tell you, it's super heavy. I'm not sure if that's not hurricane rated. I am... It's uh, had a little label here that said custom on it that uh, I peeled off last night. Not a lot of details, but really like it. All right, so this is where I'm at. What am I going to do between the post and the top post? Now, I've got that. That I know I'm just going to duplicate just like this, and I'll probably carve out the log so that I can go into it. But this little piece here is what I'm considering right now. What will I do with that? Well, I've got to run to the big city and get some weather stripping for the uh, the doors. Otherwise, scorpions will just crawl right under the itty-bitty crack. So uh, I've got to get that done today. And uh, I'll run to McCoy's, who has dimensional cedar for me in strips. And I'll get strips already cut up so I don't have to mess with that. Uh, and uh, then I'll I'll put the foam around the back, weather stripping on it. Uh, but if I can at least do that, I could slow things down a little bit. And uh, I'll come back and finish. Hopefully, I can get some video done on this. Uh, I'll come back and try to figure out what I'm going to do there. <laughs> we shall see. Well, I tried lots of different ideas of making this transom fit into this gap. I really like that best a little piece that's attached to the window itself and uh what else did i try well i i tried you know i thought about coming in and layering it up with the trim all the way around it on both sides and moving it over but uh i thought about a big wide beam that matches the big wide beam but this feels the most natural. This feels like something that would have happened <laughs> in a Spanish mission home because it did happen. So uh, it looks, uh, that fits just fine. It looks pretty good, in fact. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip a board that fits all the way in that edge, attach it to the transom itself uh, the, with some wood glue, you know, and then do the top, and I'll call that a good fit for the day. 
All right, it's a brand new day of, of me working at night because I'm so busy during the day. So this door. But what did I get done last night? I know it looks bad, but I carved out this log in the dark with a chisel and a reciprocal vibrating oscillating saw for the edge. And I've ejected that board. It is glued as well as this one. Now this board's just sitting there just to keep out bugs. But the next piece will be a four by four that I'll have to rip down to match to that size. And then I'll be all done with rough fit of this, uh, this front window. And that transom just pushes open. I, I could push it open. It's got tape around it and stuff. But if I didn't, I could push it open. Just trying to keep the bugs out a little. All right. Hopefully I'll start working on this today where I can actually film. Because <laughs> I'm a big believer in showing, not, not doing. But I carved that out and uh, inserted that. I wood glued it across the top to close the gap for bugs. As well as uh, there's two sunken screws in there that's holding it in. The next step will be the 4x4 four four there. So that the 4x4, four four, basically I'm repeating that. Uh, panel right there and I really like it. Uh, it fits my groove Let me do a real quick uh, final show of this thing now There's another video rather long one that will be coming out of all of the steps I did for the transom But we could take a quick peek at it now and see if y'all uh, uh, approve of it rotate All right, so as mentioned it pushes right out uh, That's nice. I Finished this log you'll see in the other videos is actually recessed and all glued in. It's super tight seam, super tight seam. Uh, the transom, I have yet to finish up the weather stripping. I tried to do it in the dark and <laughs> everything was crooked. Everything was ruined. <laughs> it was not worth it. So let me step out. So just a real quick glance and... Uh, so y'all can see that that's going to look pretty darn good, right? It really is. It's going to look pretty good. So there we go. All right. I got a couple other videos on me doing this uh, door, but I want to finish the end of this house and then move back through and finish each section. And, uh, but I'm getting super close on having this done. Uh, there's work to be done. Like there's insulation to put or a, 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 um, a soffit to put up there so it can vent. Uh, I need the uh, weather stripping, uh, some hardware. I need to finish the castle doors, yada, yada, yada. We'll see what order I do that in. I don't know. I get bored, I move to something else, and then I come back. In addition, as the rain comes, I'm still working on roads, and you know I need moisture to be able to work the soil, so I get distracted. But pretty darn good. I wanted to show you this as just a sneak peek uh, of a bit of this video in the middle of the construction. I was working at nights. There wasn't anything to video, but I figured I could show you the final thing and y'all could go, Ooh, ah, with me. All right. Like subscribe. Bye.